Hi friends. In this lecture, we will see how to create a table in Oracle. So first we'll create a syntax, how to create a table. Then we'll create original table. Then we are going to execute the table in our database. Okay. So first we'll see how to create a table syntax. So the syntax for the create table is create table. So here we need to provide our table name. Table name. Now open your bracket, parallel, close your bracket. So in between these two brackets, we are going to write our column names. So just for understanding purpose, I'm placing this uh, here. Now I'm going to write my first column name. For that, column one underscore name. Space, we need to provide data type of the column. Now open your bracket and close. In between these two, we have to mention length of your column. Now place a comma after your first column name. Enter. Now I'm writing my second column name. Space data type. And now length of your column. Again, I'm placing a comma here. Now just enter column three underscore name followed by data type and length of our column in brackets. So here I have only three columns. At the end of the last column, make sure you are not supposed to place a comma. That should be end with your close bracket. So this is my open bracket, this is my close bracket. In between these two only, we have to write our column names. And at the end of your column, the last column, do not place a comma. So now at the end, we have to place a semicolon. So this is the syntax for create table. Right. So based on this syntax, we are going to create a table. So let's say for example, I'm going to create a table called student. The student table has three columns. The first column name is student name and data type is wildcat 2 and length is 20. So wildcat 2 store combination of strings and numbers. Then second column name is roll number. So roll number is in numbers, right? So that's why I'm giving here as number four, which can accept four bytes. And third column name is student class. Here I'm taking wildcat two of 20, right? So now I'm going to create a table student with three columns. So let's create a table based on our syntax. So what's the first statement? Create table. Now table name, what is the table name? Student. Now open your bracket and close it. In between these two, we will write our column names. So what's our first column name? Student name. Student name followed by your data type is Wildcat 2. Then followed by length of your column is 20. Now we have to place comma. Now write the second column name. Student roll number followed by data type and length of the column. 
comma student class data type of student class and length of the column so here i'm not placing comma because this is my last column make sure at the end we have to close the bracket this one so then just trying to get it up nice right at the end make sure you must place semicolon now my table statement is created now let's try to execute it select your statement and click on run good table student created now how we can see table metadata to see the table metadata we have a command describe table name so what is our table name student if you can execute this one that can display student table metadata see here it has three columns name null type and has a three records under the name we have student table column names under the type we have the respective data type along with the length of the column also you can write this particular query to check the list of tables available in this particular schema select stall from tab if you can execute this command select stall from tab that will display all the tables available in this particular dwba at the underscore videos schema so it has only one table table name student table type is table so this is also how we can check whether table is available or not in a particular schema so i'm giving you two exercises create two tables the first table name is uh, employees with at least uh, six columns and create one more table product and that should have at least uh, 10 columns thank you guys